So we're supposed to go... Where do I go next? Matoya's next. I should save it, though. If I could just uh, select buy all, I would just go to this this uh, this item shop and buy 99 of everything every time. And then killed by Oddler. Slowly. Over a very long period of time. Come on. No, don't play this music! No! <laughs> don't play this music! I'll be fine! It's just a flesh wound. Okay, they'll just run away, probably. Look at them not running away. Now I am noticing that our damage might be approaching the Power Peninsula point, but we're actually at the at, now that we've killed Astos, there's no need to do the Power Peninsula because we can just fight those kind of monsters wherever we want if we wanted. All right, that gets us the herb. Now we'll go get the key. Yeah, I know Fitz. I didn't set it up again. I used to have it set up during the Long War sessions, but... I don't have my current scene equipped with the uh, update, and I forget how to do it, so... One day, maybe, I'll remember. Probably someone in, in chat can tell you whatever song's playing most of the time. So unfortunately, looting as the Black Belt is always disappointing. Because you never get anything you really... Well, not never, but you rarely get anything that you can use. All of that stuff, completely pointless. Unless you want money, I guess. It's not a bad idea. I'm just going to pick one of these up for later. Oops, I think I didn't give it to him. Is there anything worth picking up back at Astos? I never remember. And oh, then we die again. <laughs> and then we were killed. so good how one random battle can always wipe you no matter how strong you are, basically. It's a little bit humbling. The old Geist attack. Once, once we'll have a Ribbons, we'll be mostly safe, but... That's a fairly long ways off. In case I kill myself, let's save it. So, now that we have the key, there's some chests over here we can pick up. Power staff, iron gauntlets, falcon. Nah, none of that's any good. So, note to self. There's no point going there unless you need money. And unfortunately, I mean, I guess if you were playing as a mage solo, you might need the money. But on uh, this run, we won't need... Come on, just, just select run, please. Uh, we Money is never going to be a problem on this run. So come on, to the castle.
Silver Dagger? Nah, not good enough. TNT. It's dynamite. There, we killed some oddlers. Hope you're happy. Hope you're happy, eyeball game. <laughs> Can I just get up here? So now that we have the TNT, we head down here, we blow up the canal, and pick up some more loot, which is basically worthless. Eh, the house is okay. None of that else, none of, nothing else is good. I think I always figured um, the black belt should have been able to equip silver armor, because it's like the light mail, like it's not heavy. So I thought he'd be able to use it, but nope, he can't. Nitro? Nah, it's, it's TNT. It's totally TNT. Hey, a level up! That's fun. Good. Good! You can always trust the dwarves to give you a house. <laughs> Crushed by it. Look, with how hard this guy can punch stuff, he can totally carry a few houses on his back. I'm sure of it. Okay, so now we have a couple decisions to make. Do I want... To go fight the vampire, or at least try to fight the vampire, or do I want to go level up a bit? Actually, I think he might have been able to equip the power staff, if that's the sort of thing you're into. But, uh, selling it is fine. Punching is better. I'm curious how this stacks up, so I'm just gonna equip. I'm just gonna sell some stuff. Make some space. So we are at 16 absorb. The silver ring gives you to 15. So by the time we can get the silver. Or it's not as good anyway, even if I equip the cap. Actually, I could buy some gloves, and that would put me at 17 absorb. But, whatever. We miss one absorb until we get a level up. It's not going to be worth messing around on. Did the graphics just improve a bit? Um, it's a different town. <laughs> it shouldn't be any different. I don't know what that is. That was a good sound. Just a second.
Don't worry about it, guys. The house didn't burn down. So that's what my alarm sounds like. It's pretty fun. As some of you might be aware, we have some construction going on in the uh, complex. It's lots of fun. I assume someone tripped a wire somewhere. At least you guys had music to entertain yourself. So like, uh, let's keep going for a while. I'm not done yet. Unless the house literally lights on fire. In which case we'll reconsider the stream. Fire drill, no. More like cat scare, scarathon. Um, I wanna go head over to Crescent Lake. Just some burglars breaking in. Eh, it's nothing to worry about. All I gotta do is punch them to death. Punching things to death works really well. Wrong way. Because shark attacks, punch it to death. Alright, now it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get to the town from here. We'll see how we do. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts, but we're okay. As I mentioned during the fighter solo run, this is one of those areas I really like to level up in if I can. If I can. Yay, we made it. Alright, so there shouldn't be anything worth buying. The buckler is a stupid shield that no one can use except one person in the party. It's, it's just a waste of time. Alright. Let's fight some let's fight some trolls. And some giants. Look at this, we can kill two giants now. Look at how much more experience we get. Isn't that awesome? I'm not going very far from town though. This will probably kill me. The fighter was okay against groups like that because he had like, you know, armor on. <laughs> the buckler is stupid because it's not the right equipment for anybody. There is nobody that gets to Crescent Lake and goes, oh boy, a buckler. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Yeah. So we should, we should actually get some levels up pretty quick like this. Which is pretty awesome. You want a buckler? <laughs> well, someone in the in the chat wants a buckler. That's about as as good as it ever gets for Crescent Lake bucklers, buckler salesman. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what level I'm gonna want to be to go for the vampire kill. Um, ooh, that's too much. We're either dead or we're running away. I mean, we're getting like 900 experience per fight. We really might as well just save every time. <laughs> if I win, just save. Ah, uh, we're dead. There's no way. Actually, the Cobras are starting to run away from us. That's nice. But yeah, these guys are, they just hit too hard. I suppose probably before we fight the Lich, we're gonna wanna have a 64% hit. That way we'll be doing six hits rather than four, and that should speed it up considerably. Yeah, there is a glitch like that, Brian. I've, I mentioned it a couple times. You can reset it by equipping and unequipping something. The level that the fighter beat the, the Lich at? Uh, I'm gonna not expect it to be any higher than this. We're not going to be stronger than the fighter right now, because the fighter had pretty good armor at this point with the full silver set. Um, he had like 33 absorb or something, which is pretty nice.
We might be doing more damage than the fighter soon, but he's just much more durable. Um, this is different than the Power Peninsula. It's a different set of monsters. We're not going to fight Zombles. We're not going to fight uh, Frost Wolves. So it's not quite as high a level. But um, it's close enough. And you can go to the town anytime you want. So I prefer training here, really. Because you get 100, 100 GP for a full heal is a lot faster than messing around with heal potions and stuff. And you just walk in... Full health, saved, back out, fight another fight. Much, much quicker. Except for when you get massive Cobra battles. I don't think we're going to win, but let's see. Yeah, We might be able to kill two of those, but definitely not four. This fight is possible if we got lucky, but I think I got bad luck. That was actually incredibly close. How far are we off again? Oh yeah, we're almost 18. Yeah, I would like to get to the six times hit mode before we go to the to the cave. So it should only take a couple more levels up and we'll be ready for that. Cheap? Yep. Yeah, it's expensive at the beginning in the sense that um, you actually don't make as much money <laughs> as it costs to rest up. So you spend all your money... Um, buying pure potions and going to the inn. Um, yeah, that was pretty good. I think one of them ran away, or a couple of them ran away. But there's nothing to buy other than the protective ring, but by then, nobody has a money problem. The only really expensive classes are the mages, really. Because the only thing that costs ridiculous cash is spells, 20,000 times 3 for one level. Whereas your similar weapons for your fighter is cheap. Cheap, 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 comparatively. You'll spend a few hundred thousand gold on spells and maybe 20, 30,000 on weapons. You also find better weapons uh, in shops, or sorry, in dungeons, than you can buy in shops anyway, so. You have to buy your spells. I think the level 8 spells are 60,000 bucks each. I don't think this is going to work out so good. <laughs> this is not the last shot, no. Until we get the airship, though, this is the only one we can get to. There is a shop that sells protective rings. They protect you from instant death attacks, like rub and death. Or death. Um, and that will cost us 20,000 gold. But we already have the money for that, so it's not a big problem. And I think you can find one for free if you really want to wait for it. Fists of Fury here. So 56 hit percent, ugh. I was hoping we'd be getting like plus 2 or 3 hit percent per level up, but it doesn't always work that way. Try to zip through this as quick as I can, at least. And having a higher HP cap is also nice <laughs> for those situations. The Castle of Ordeals. Um, I could go there... No, I can't get there yet. At the very minimum, you need to have the canoe. You can't land there... Um, just with the ship. You need the canoe or normally the airship. But even if you had the canoe, you could get there, do the trial, um, you might get a couple items that are valuable. There's uh, Zeus's gauntlet and a gold ring. But you can't actually get promoted until you have the airship to get to Bahamut on an island. So it doesn't really get you promoted anyway. 
And the real sad part is, the black belt doesn't get anything from a promotion. It really... Whether I stay as the black belt or the master monk, there's no difference. You're exactly the same character. Same stats, same everything. So, we could completely skip that if we wanted. <laughs> Give me my canoe, yeah. No, they won't... They just refuse. Unless, unless you get the, uh... Unless you've killed the lich, they will not give it to you. Say cheap passed for a few times. There you go, Shinga. We're still only getting four hits, so I'm not happy. I'm not happy with our damage output yet. I want to be killing giants in one shot. How are we looking here? 59 hit percent? I think the target is 64. Ugh. Well, we are starting to kill them in one shot. Even without the extra hits, we're just doing enough damage to just murderize them, basically. It sure is nice not dying every battle, though. You guys, I bet you guys are happy to see that again. We could probably survive the Power Peninsula by now. But, um, it just, it wouldn't be faster than this anyway. Because I, didn't, I wouldn't have a full heal right beside, I'd have to use heal potions. And buying heal potions suck. I guess with enough money I could use a house for a full heal. But that costs 3,000. Actually, you know, now that I think of it, I have done that before. Because you do make a net profit on the Power Peninsula. As long as you make at least 3,000 gil per fight, you can use a house to heal in between and you just don't lose money. You wouldn't mind seeing me get murdered. Come on. We're not doing the white mage or the thief run yet. We're supposed to not be dying terribly bad. How far off for level up? Not bad. Almost there. The levels come pretty quickly here. That's why I like this spot. Hey, look at that. Almost ready again. It seems if you promote your magic defense goes from 3 to 2 per level. Uh, in Final Fantasy 1, there's no magic defense. <laughs> Maybe in the advanced version, that stat might do something. Not in Final Fantasy 1 on the NES, Brian. On the the adva the remakes, maybe. I, I can't confirm or deny that one, because I don't know them as well. But on this one, no. Well, there's one stat. <laughs> if you're a fighter or a thief, you will get your MP earlier if you promote. But for this version of the game, it actually doesn't make any difference at all. Because you'll get three castings of each spell for a knight at max, and four castings of each spell at max for the ninja. And it doesn't matter when you promote, you'll still hit that. Well, I guess if you promoted at level 50, then you might not get any spells at all, so don't do that. Oh, we actually died that time? Terrible. No, there, there's, there's, <laughs> there's no magic defense. Even your main attributes, strength, and agility, intelligence, fight, vitality, those stats don't do anything. <laughs> They don't actually mean anything at all. They sound nice, but they don't actually do anything. So level 20, 62, I think one more level up and we'll be doing six times hits. But we might have it now, I just don't think so. Yeah, four hits, four hits. We're almost there. One more level up and I'll be golden. It'll be another significant damage upgrade. We'll be going from like 250 damage to like 500 damage. Well, maybe not quite that much, but 
250 to 400. Oh, the slider puzzle? Yeah, you go in the boat and you press some buttons. If you win a stupid puzzle game, you get a couple gil. It's, I remember doing that on the original cart. <laughs> it's a silly little side thing. I don't remember the button combination, but it's not that hard. The, bunk, the monk does benefit from being naked most of the time, yeah. His absorb level, which is his... Uh, defense stat is equal to his level so if I equipped armor it's actually less than that should probably just save hey I haven't seen this encounter yet we'll probably die because the scorpions hit hard and there's lots yeah I'm probably dead Just too many scorpions. I do, I, I, I always think you've hit a good point in the game when you can one-shot giants. Giants are pretty beefy, and if you can just kill them in one hit, you're doing pretty awesome. One of the perks about Let's Playing and uh, streaming in general you can wear as much or as little clothing as you want. <laughs> Almost there. This actually went pretty quick. I think we went from level 16 to 21 faster than we went from level like 10 to 15 by a long shot. Just keep in mind that if you want to beat the game solo as a thief, you will need to get to level 20 to th 23 before you kill Astos. <laughs> so you will not be able to go to this area and fight like this. And you also won't be doing 300 damage per hit. One-shotting Ankylos? Uh, that's a fair ways off, Shinga. Actually, the monk might be able to do it now at level 21 because he's probably going to be averaging four or five hundred damage. Let's see. 350, 350.